Good morning. We want to welcome everyone out to the courtyard. We are very excited to be able to be back in person. For those students who are here this year, you probably don't realize, but this event has taken place every year that Storm Grove has been open. Even last year, we did transition to a remote option, but we were really glad to still be able to pull it off. That does not compare at all to be, being able to be here in person, inviting our veterans here for today for our celebration. So I would like to start off by introducing our Storm Grove Chorus, and they will be performing United We Stand. Thank you. If you would all please stand and join me in welcoming the Vera Beach High School Air Force Junior ROTC Honor Guard for the presentation of the colors and please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance followed by the National Anthem. I pledge of allegiance, I pledge of allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, 
and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is an honor to introduce to you our keynote speaker for today, who I've known for many, many years and worked with. Lieutenant Colonel John Teske is an Army Reservist currently stationed in West Palm Beach, Florida. He is a member of the 84th Training Command and serves as a military police training officer. Lieutenant Colonel Teske was deployed to Iraq in 2003 and 2004 as a combat support military police officer. In Iraq, he conducted U.S. Customs missions, convoy escorts, and performed airfield security. Lieutenant Colonel Teske proudly brings 23 years of service to the Army Reserves. In the civilian world, Mr. Teske serves as the Director of Security for the Indian River County School District. He has also served as the principal at Citrus Elementary and the assistant principal at Dodgertown Elementary. When he is not serving in the Army or the students of Indian River County, Mr. Teske can be found with his beautiful wife, Becky, of 22 years and their four amazing children. But if you ask Mrs. Teske who his favorite child is, it is a resounding Smokey the dog. Welcome, Mr. Teske. Well, good, good morning, good morning. What a nice introduction. Uh, it's an honor to be here. So boys and girls, when I say good morning, you need to sound off. Good morning. Good morning. There we go, there we go. All right, you all up in the cheap seats, you didn't pay much for your tickets, but we hear you though. We, we, we see you up in the balcony. Your school looks wonderful. It looks so patriotic. Your flags, uh, what a great job. I tell everyone this is the best school to attend Veterans Day ceremonies every year. Uh, Ms. Bieber, outstanding job with honoring everyone that's here today. The, the campus looks wonderful. So thank you to the faculty and staff, students. Thank you for having me here. And most importantly, thank you to the veterans that are seated here in front of us. This ceremony is, ceremony is for you. Uh, any one of you could be up here giving this speech. I know each and every one of you have your own special stories. Um, and uh, I appreciate you letting me stand here in front of you. It's very humbling. So good morning to you all. I'd like to start my visit this morning with acknowledging you in the audience. If you served in the uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or Coast Guard, we want to recognize you. So please stand up if you served in the military and let's give these veterans a great round of applause. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, we're here for you today, and uh, it's wonderful to see students of Storm Grove Middle School bringing their family and friends in here that are veterans to be recognized today. Thank you for giving us your time. Now, boys and girls, if, if you're a student here at Storm Grove, which you should be, and you have someone that's serving in the military or a veteran in your family, raise your hand right now so we can look around. 
If you have someone in your family who is a veteran or serving in the military, look at the hands that are up here right now. That is outstanding. Give yourselves a round of applause. That, that is great that you are aware that you have someone in your family. And on Thursday, it's very important that you call or text them and let them know how much you appreciate their service. So Ms. Bieber gave me a wonderful introduction and I feel very honored once again. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Colonel John Teske. I'm the Director of Security for the school district and I worked uh, at Citrus Elementary and Dodgertown Elementary. Uh, at one point in time I was a fifth grade teacher and a sixth grade teacher in middle school. So where are my sixth graders at? Raise your hand. All right. Are you guys still getting lost around campus or do you know your way around? Okay, good, good, good. I, I, we always have to check in on the sixth grade. Great job. Well, I'm a little bit different than most people um, because I have two jobs. I work for the school district during the week and on the weekends and in the summers, I'm an army reservist. I wear this uniform when I'm serving in the military and that makes me what we call a citizen soldier. I could be called up at any time to serve and protect our country and the citizens like you. At any moment, the President of the United States may deem it necessary to activate the reservists. And at that point in time, I have to leave my, my wife, my children, and my job. But the toughest part about leaving home is I have to eat Army food. And let me tell you, it's not good. It's really not good. There's no Chick-fil-A's in the Army, okay? And the Army does not let you order DoorDash or Grubhub, okay? I've been in the Army for well over 20 years, and I served in Iraq during Operation Enduring Freedom during 2003 and 2004, and then again in 2010 and 11. But I started my military career in ROTC, that's the Reserve Officer Training Corps, when I was in high school and college. Is there anyone here interested in joining the military? Raise your hand. Okay, great. And look around. Maybe something you'd like to do in high school or in college or after that. That's wonderful that you're already interested in thinking about that. If you are interested in joining the military, I want you to start off by taking junior ROTC classes when you get to high school. Talk to one of your guidance counselors here at Storm Grove or when you get to high school about joining those classes at Vera Beach High School and Sebastian River High School. Both of them have excellent junior ROTC programs as we saw a few moments ago with our color guard, they did an outstanding job. Sometimes something simple as taking a class in high school can change your life. Don't be afraid to take a chance and do something different from everyone else. It could even help pay for your college. So I always have to remind young people when I give speeches, do we understand that Thursday is Veterans Day and not today, first of all? Nod your head if you understand that. Okay, so do you have school on Thursday? No. So Thursday is a day for you to celebrate Veterans Day at home with your families, with your friends, and acknowledge Veterans Day. There's uh, ceremonies around town. There's things that are offered. You can even find things online. So it's very important that Thursday, even though you're not in school, you're still remembering and honoring veterans and our country and some, some form of patriotism. Now, do we know the difference between Veterans Day and Memorial Day? Okay, so think about that, what the difference is, because sometimes people get them a little confused. So Veterans Day is celebrated in November. It's a federal holiday and it's meant to honor everyone who served in the United States military. It doesn't matter if they served in wartime or peacetime. Anyone who has enlisted in any branch of the US military while swearing to support and defend the Constitution of the United States counts as a veteran. So for the next few days, ask your parents and your family, who is a veteran in my family? Now Memorial Day, think about what that is. Memorial Day is celebrated in May. It's the last Monday in May, and it's the holiday set aside to pay tribute to those who died serving in the military. Both days are very special and patriotic, but both are very different. Now, do you understand the difference between them? Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, you can have fun in the military. It's not all, always real hard work. 
It's not all action packed like you would see in Call of Duty. Not everyone in the military must carry or use a gun. The United States military has over 800 jobs or careers you can choose from, like engineers, doctors, lawyers, mechanics, cooks, and computer programmers, all while serving in all the branches of the military. Like Ms. Beaver shared with you, my job in the Army is a military policeman. Does anyone want to take a guess at what the safest job in the Army is? The safest job in the Army. Admin, <laughs> Admin would be, it's close. According to military.com, what do you think, boys and girls, what would the safest job be? Yell it out. The Air Force. <laughs> close. Yeah. So according to military.com, the safest job in the Army is a dentist. A dentist. Does anybody want to be a dentist here? Okay. That's awesome. The military has provided me with some of the greatest memories and experiences in my life. All these veterans here today have stories to tell. They have funny stories, exciting stories, personal stories, and maybe even some sad stories. But the important thing is that you talk and communicate with your veterans now. Our veterans won't be here forever. Please say thank you as often as you can. When you go home tonight, talk to your parents about your family. Ask about your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, and your cousins. Find out if any of them are veterans or if they served. Then take the time to have a personal conversation with them and ask them about their service and their sacrifices. Let them tell you their story like I'm telling you mine. Take the time now to show them respect that they deserve because tomorrow may be too late. Pick up the phone and call or send them a text on Thursday. What if you don't want to join the military, but you want to serve and support our country? What can you do? How can you help? These are great questions. You can serve your country in many ways that don't require you wearing a uniform. You can start with serving or volunteering in your community, your school, or your church. You can volunteer at a shelter a hospital, or even the Humane Society. Giving your time on your own to serve your community is serving your country. You don't have to wear a uniform to show pride and patriotism for your country. Your actions will speak for themselves. President John F. Kennedy once said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Thank you again for allowing me to spend your morning with you. To all our veterans here present today, we honor you, we appreciate you, and we thank you for everything that you've done. Have a great and fantastic day. Thank you. It's always so interesting to hear our speakers, and we do like to, to have different speakers. I love how Lieutenant Colonel Teske has shared with you all of the opportunities that you have through school in Indian River County, as well as those opportunities to serve your country in other ways. I hope our students today listened carefully and got some great ideas and realized how important it is. We want to finish off our morning with a number of musical performances, starting off with our orchestra.
and finally our band as they play Armed Forces March. We would like to honor our veterans by playing the anthem from each branch of service. Please stand as your branch is recognized. United States Marines. The Marines were established in 1775 and today provide rapid response to crisis and amphibious support. Thank you again for coming out to join us. Um, for those of you who have joined us in the past, as I said, we were really, really excited to be back in person. Next year, we are planning to expand back to when we have our breakfast. We were a little nervous about doing that this year in case we had to cancel, but the weather held out for us today for a beautiful day, and we thank you all for your service, and thank you for taking time out to be with us today. <laughs>